Talk to me about some of the challenges, you know, like it sounds like you guys had a great success story, but I'm sure there was some ups and downs through the road. So I want to know, like, what, what were maybe the biggest challenges that you faced either starting out or still to this day with the technology or the team, the, the operation, of the, but overall in the music industry? There's always challenges. Um, and a, a great founder friend of mine who I met through the incubator uh, entrepreneur first, uh, he was a serial entrepreneur and he gave me a great quote, which has stuck with me. And I've said to multiple other people, which is if everything went well, you wouldn't learn anything. You know, like imagine if like from day one, if I just went, oh, I want to raise money and then suddenly I had money. Or if I said, I want to get SoundCloud as a client and suddenly I had them. You know, if everything happened just because you wanted it to, you would learn absolutely nothing. You learn when it's difficult and when things don't go um, quite correctly. And so that's that's happened multiple times. I think it's more about how you handle it and how you turn a situation to your advantage. But a specific example I can think of from you know, right in the beginning of the company. Um, so we formed in 2018 and then we fundraised our first like $1.2 million in um, December of 2018. We were pre-revenue when we raised our seed round, which I'm not sure I would do again because there's a lot of pressure when you raise money to then start showing traction and make money. You know, a lot of the other companies that were raising money from our same cohort at the incubator already had revenue. There was way more pressure on us to get that first sale over the line than there was for other people who were already making sales. And I was like, totally no big deal. I've got three very, very interested clients. We'll probably sign one in Jan, one in March, one in July. That'll be nicely staggered over six, one every three months. And then my co-founder has got time to build all the implementations. And of course, that absolutely didn't happen. I didn't sign my first client until July. And then I signed all three of those in July within the space of about 48 hours of each other, which was like a huge relief that we were great we've got clients, that's exciting. But I tell you that first six months, that Jan to July of 2019, I don't think I've ever been under more pressure. There were points when I was just thinking, is anyone going to sign? I need proof that I can get a client. That's your sort of darkest thought. But also the pressure on when you've raised money and you've said, I'm going to sign a client in January and then it doesn't happen till July. That six months, there's, there's a lot of pressure. If you raise money from a VC, they expect to see traction and returns. That was a, you know, a time when things didn't exactly go according to plan sounds like it but you got through it that's all that matters right you got through it and now you're on the other side so <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's great exactly 